Hello, people of YouTube. Come on, camera, focus. Okay. This will have to do. Been a while since I've made a video uploaded. Anything at all. I figured it's time to change that with the little project I just completed here. Yeah. Retro Link. Retro Link brand Saturn style controller, USB model. Now I know what you're thinking. Why am I recording that thing? There's nothing special about it. It's a cheap piece of crap Chinese controller. Well, that's the thing. Yes, cheap piece of crap Chinese controller, but it does work. And this thing has had a few extra additions added to it. Here's the USB cable to it. And just here. Okay, so there's the cable to it. I'll plug it into the front of my PC here. Now let's watch the screen. Give it a moment. What's this? A new disc detected. When I plug that cable to this controller in. That's right, because this little thing here, I took it apart and I modified it with a USB hub and a 4 gigabyte USB drive in it. I just hooked the wire that comes from the controller to the hub, then hooked the USB drive and the controller itself up to that hub. It's a 4 port hub, I'm only using 2 of the ports on it. It's just what I had. So, I've now got a controller with a built in storage. Then nothing special, right? No, not really. What's special is what I did with it. So, I'll open up to view the files and folders on it. And what's this? Fusion 364. That's right. Sega Genesis PC emulator in a controller. And what have we here? Sega Genesis ROMs. Ooh, we got games. Hacked games. Prototype games. They even have the Sonic CD++ Sega CD game on here. Well, let's hover over games. See if it'll tell me anything. But that games folder has the complete Sega Genesis ROM collection in it. Every game ever released for the Sega Genesis. And as you can see there, they're sorted, alphabetized out in the folders. Hacked games. How many do I have in there? Is it going up there? I, it's not showing me number of files in it, but there are a few hundred hacked games in there. Got a few prototype games there, and then of course that one Sega CD game. And this drive is only half full, so you got room for more expansion. But enough of that. Let's play it. I got a folder where all the game saves go. I've got all the Sega Genesis BIOS files. The only BIOS files I don't have are for the Sega Master System or Game Gear, but I may change that pretty quickly here. But otherwise, it's got the Sega Genesis TMSS uh, file on it. It's got the 32X BIOS files. There's three of them. And it's got several BIOS files for the Sega CD. The US... European and Japanese Sega CD BIOS files and all three of those are region free so it doesn't matter so you got three Sega CD BIOS files all three of them that are capable of being region free for if you ever run a, run a Sega CD game but enough of that let's load it up I've already got fusion configured up here so I'll just load a game let's load Sega CD And I load it from here, this Q file. Because this is a custom game that I kind of modified up. No audio because I've got headphones plugged in.
let's see here, full function, you got up, down, left, right, start pauses it, come over here, A button, B button, C button, I did test this out earlier and the X, Y, and Z buttons work too, because I've got this set as a Genesis 6 button controller with, you know, A, B, C, start, X, Y, Z, and I've got the mode button here. I don't have this button doing anything and probably won't be able to with uh, Fusion, but maybe if I was to switch to like Gens or something, I could use it for like a save state button or something. I don't know, but the thing of it is, this is not for me. This is for Grandma. Yep, I built this for Grandma. And I wanted to keep it simple and easy to use where you could plug it into any computer and it would work. So, figure I'd just demonstrate it, show it off to y'all. I won't show you the insides, but needless to say, in this space right up here, between the top of the case and the circuit board that sits in the middle, is where the USB hub sits, as well as the small 4 gigabyte USB drive that I put in there. So, they're both sitting in there. And it works. So I hope you all enjoyed that little demonstration of my complete Genesis and a controller mod. Just plug it into any Windows computer, USB 2.0 port, and it works. That's all. Peace out, folks.